testing. Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mr. H Makes and I'm Mr. H. Meet Arthur, the fast talking psychotic brother, imaginary brother of Jason Statham. This is part of my second submission to iClone's lip sync competition and this is basically a quick work in progress. So as part of my workflow, I use LiveLink and iPhone to record a bass first pass. Uh, I like this system because it sort of gives you a natural head movement, uh, which is a pain in the butt to animate if you were that way inclined. Uh, then I go into Aculips. Um, there's a lot of tidying up to do since it's actually quite a fast read. So I, I basically fix all that up uh, and I use it as a new mouth movement. From there, I go into the lips editor where I mess about with the phonemes and, and tweak them bearing in mind that this guy's got a bit of an accent so he does not pronounce or enunciate his words the same way that he probably should. Uh, going into Aculips again just to fix up one word which, which seemed to be having a bit of a hiccup, the word Edinburgh and since he speaks it very fast, Edinburgh I actually left it uh, phonetically spelt, if that's the right word. You can also bounce back and forth into Aculips. Uh, it gives you that flexibility, which is, is very helpful in the workflow. I do have links to some detailed Aculips tutorials. I'll put them in the comments below. You might want to check those out as well if, if that's what rocks your boat. Uh, so moving on, I now go into the edit motion layer. Uh, in this case I wanted to give his head movement uh, a bit of exaggeration when he laughs and uh, also applying some curved presets to make the animation look nice. Also, I think I moved his shoulders around a bit as well as he had a bit of a chuckle. So all these small little tweaks help sell the performance a bit more. I then moved into Face Puppet. Uh, in this case, I was uh, fixing up some eyelids uh, which did not uh, recall very well when I did the live link iPhone uh, at the beginning so that was just a quick fix. I also use Face Puppet a lot for doing the eyebrows and stuff like that just to give more emotion but I think I made a mistake and I overwrote the original file so he's got a bit of a static head for a section of it. Uh, I should have used replace uh, and not new. So I went to fix that bit. Uh, first I used the direct puppet and it had quite an interesting motion, but not the one that I, I wanted. Um, I think I'm going to use that hair motion something else. Uh, so... Part of the fun of, of iClone is discovering all these, these new ways you can do stuff. Uh, sometimes it's too much fun, you get lost noodling around. 
But anyway, back to work. I then went to the face puppet, which um, you can select head movement. And if you deselect any of the options and full face control, you can just move the head without affecting any of the other parts of the body. I then went to edit the torso and edit motion layer just to get more uh, movement in the laugh. Uh, as my final video is, is a close up of the face, I'm not too bothered about the rest of the, the body. And pretty much at this stage, uh, we're just tweaking stuff and finessing stuff. And I usually go to the face key to do this, to help him enunciate a bit more, emphasize lip movement, uh, which, which all, all helps deliver a, a better final animation. Uh, so face key, you know, you can also do stuff to the eyes, blinks. Um, so in this case, I wanted to widen eyes at certain areas just to emphasize uh, key moments. So it's if the characters were remembering something or, or find something particularly amusing. Uh, still in face key, just uh, added some additional or extra expression. Since he's telling a bit of a joke, he's, he's having a bit of a smirk. Uh, I think I also use this a lot in the the laughing animation. Um, he's the sort of character who finds his own jokes funny, even though probably no one else does. And he takes great offense to this. Okay, that's all folks. I will eventually link the final video to the end of this one. If you found some useful tips in this video, you might like to check out the comments below for more detailed tutorials or click on the videos at the end of this one. Otherwise, you've been watching Mr. H Makes. I'm Mr. H. Hope you have a great week ahead and hopefully see you in the next one. It's a bit lonely here now. I wish my two mates were back here with me. <laughs>